Safari. November 2, 3, 2, 2, 1, 4. My, and uh, this is a very old male, muted beagle, has a swelling here. That is a hematoma. It's not a big one, it just happened right now. So we discovered some ticks. Uh. Here are some ticks. So the ticks could, could cause the dog to be very cheap. This is a Be Kind Pets Veterinary Educational video sponsored by Topio Vets. Oral hematoma. What is an oral hematoma? It is a pool of blood accumulated between the skin of the ear and the cartilage of the ear flap. And what causes an oral hematoma in a dog is an improper cleaning of the ear that led to an inflammation of the ear, hence causing the dog to scratch or shake his head often. for a long time. So he has been using some ear, ear drops, but uh, it does work to clear the dirt inside. It's not very dirty inside. And there's no pain in it, although the dog doesn't like it. Now, to find whether the dog is feeling itchy, uh, I ask the owner whether he uses a back leg to scratch the leg. According to you, he does every day. Yeah. Uh, if the dog uses a back leg to scratch every day, uh, then uh, especially the back leg like this now. That means that the ear, that means inside the ear, I just show. Just show. If, if the dog does this every day, that means his ear, the horizontal canal is very itchy. Now, either the ticks have fallen in or dirt, uh, or dirt, uh, now he's very uh, nervous because of this. So there is definitely some pain inside the horizontal canal, and uh, it's not. Uh, and the other, the, the other signs that uh, would be head shaking. You can shake the head shake every day. If the dog is head shaking every day, normally there is some infection inside the horizontal canal. The vertical canal is okay, it's quite clean. The owner can clean outside. But there's one, you know, the ear flap owner can clean, but the vertical canal owner can clean, but there's one more, the horizontal canal inside. Uh, it's quite painful actually. And so we need ear irrigation, open up and remove the, the clot. In this 7 year old, never had dental scaling, so you can see. Uh, this is very abundant disease, stage 3. Stage 3 is where there is some loss of the tissue attachment, about 25%. And uh, the, the teeth are still solid. So, so by scaling and cleaning up, the, the dog's teeth can be safe. Treatment. So we will do that the scaling and ear irrigation and hematoma. Uh, So we will do that the scaling and, and uh, put the, the defect the spot on it. Put the spot on it here every month. Because it lives on the ground floor, I think the dogs have other dogs come and visit him and he goes up for this time. Goes up for uh, if dogs goes up for what, you need the spot on because of the ticks from other dogs. So the spot on is this to go apply here. here. This one I never done before to apply here. Uh, every month, and uh, the other alternative is to create the dog in a thick bath. But I think that one is more, more time consuming, so most owners just use a spot on. Uh, the, dog, the dog fails every month, yeah. so that, that is the, the main uh, advice to this owner. Anesthesia and surgery. Warning, the video contains surgical procedure, viewer description is advised.
surgical technique. First, clip the hair around the ear and check for any things around the area. Second, irrigate the ear canal. Third, plug in raw swab to prevent blood from leaking into the ear canal. Fourth, make an S-shaped incision on the concave side face of the ear over the hematoma. Fifth, take out the blood pots and fibrins. Sixth, leave the wound open for further drainage of blood. Seventh, stitch up the open wound parallel to the cartilage of the ear and tie several knots on the concave side of the ear. Eight, wet an ear collar or bandage the ear onto the head of the dog. Nine, anti-fly powder to prevent attracting flies. And lastly, painkillers and antibiotics. Make an S-shaped incision over the hematoma. Remove the debris and black clogs. Leave the wound open for drainage. Stitch up the wound with knot and 2075 cm. Put on an e collar on the dock. Post up care. Just put it into the ear before you wash the ear because we don't want the, the anti tablet to go in. Uh. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Pull it up. Uh. And then pluck it really tight so that when you wash the ears, mm. that uh, any, any uh, thing don't drop in. Uh. Okay? So every day, you, you pull, and then after that, uh, wear the ear collar. So what you do is, of course, that dab, dab, dab there. Yours is quite an easy one, huh? Use a and it's a bit there, and then dry one to dry off. Then all the blood, if, if possible, this will remain in uh, there. But probably a piece of cloth, uh, because you see a lot of blood. Oh, oh. Uh, so that that's the reason. Uh. Mm. So it's a maintenance thing. Uh. Normally I was seven days of maintenance of the year. Then 14 days later come back, is it you remove the stuff? Normally it will dissolve, yeah. Oh, you dissolve. And then I already given painkiller so it doesn't feel any pain. Uh. The, the, the problem is the flies. Uh. flies. Oh, the flies are coming in. So all this clean out, so this attract the flies. Eh? Mm. So I can give a, a small bit of fly powder to put in. Uh. Ah, yeah. oh, fly powder. So. If you clean three times a day or two times a day, then it should be less problem. Divide into two or something, I mean, it's so big. Uh. Okay, as far as the teeth is concerned, mm. it's been cleaned up there. Okay. Scaling. Uh. Clean your pet's ears frequently to prevent the occurrence of the oral human tumor. If your pet's ear is said to be swelling or he is said to be scratching himself daily, consult your pet early. If your dog has done an oral hematoma, maintain the hygiene of the open wound day.